Hi, I'm Ann Ray. Has your home suffered storm damage over the past year? Well, this Crosswalk Magazine is definitely for you. It's my pleasure to welcome to Crosswalk Magazine, Diane King, who is General Manager of GB Contractor Incorporated. Thanks for being with us today. Oh, you're welcome. It's very good to be here. Well, let's start out and let's find out a little bit about GB Contractor. How long has the company been around? Uh, GB Contractor has been around since 2000. And you cover an enormous amount of uh, of the state. In fact, yes, more than we, that. We cover the whole state of Ohio and, and then some. So what are your specialties? Our specialty is uh, roofing, siding, and gutters. Those are the main three that we do, but we do go further than that because basically uh, GB Contractor is a general contractor. So we do any additions. We do floors. We do, of course, the siding and the roofing and the gutters. But we also, if a person wants the the basement work done, uh, if they've got a patio that they're wanting to finish off, or they've got into a project and they're stuck, uh, <laughs> and they need a contractor to come out and um, rescue them. <laughs> yes, <laughs> basically that is what we would be doing. How did the GB contractor get started? Basically, Mr. Vargas, who is the owner, had been doing this for some years. Uh, he's got about 30 years of performance experience, mm-hmm. so he's been out really out on his own since 2000. Well, GB Contractor is pretty impressive. I mean, you're fully licensed, bonded, insured, a member of the Better Business Bureau, and a member of the National Roofing Contractors Association. That's quite right. something. Uh, we're also on Angie's list also. Excellent. That's always a good referral then. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk about one area that is uh, extremely important to a number of folks in Ohio, and that's uh, storm damage inspections, wind damage. There's been a lot of that this year. Yeah. That was uh, where we are expert in. We do a lot of wind and hail damage, any kind of storm damage that uh, damages the siding or the roof. Uh, some people have had just a brand new roof put on, but if the storm comes through, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it yeah, doesn't it's no matter. No respecter of new yeah. roofs, is it? <laughs> right. Well, talk about the the free estimate that you do. I mean, it's more than just coming out and doing an estimate. Right. We really come out and see the damage, uh, measuring, making sure that everything that the customer has seen that is a problem. Then we go to the next step and really do a thorough check of the building, of the house, to make sure that there's areas that the customer has not seen. And especially if we get up on the roof, then we will go ahead at that time, really check to see if there's any loose shingles or whether it's a slate roof or a rubber roof or whatever, to make sure that there will not be any place where there would be a leak that will eventually come into the house or the building. Now, uh, before the show, you were talking about uh, with me that you kind of serve as an advocate for the homeowner. Oh, definitely. I My personal experience really puts me into that mind of putting on a new roof on my own home. So when it came to dealing with the customer, knowing that you are aware of all the things that are going on with them as far as Okay, how do you get started? What is the process? Calling that insurance adjuster, what do I say? There's a lot of questions that you may not think to ask or you have asked or thought you have asked all the questions. So we try to go with that customer, sit down with them, show them what we're doing, educating them on the process, along with educating them on what we do as a company and making sure that they're satisfied so that when they bring the, the adjuster out, we're there too, so that we can point out the things that maybe the customer could not see or didn't know about, so we can make sure that when they go through their insurance process of getting this all done, that everything is covered and not missed, so that like, okay, if they have written the check and say, okay, this is closed, we try to make sure that when they do write that check for that customer, that everything is included in that. That is very useful service. Why should folks come to GB Contractor as opposed to somebody else? Because GB Contractor is a family-owned business, so it is not just a person that started a company, and that, but no, it's family-owned, and either the workers are family or someone in, indirectly here is, <laughs> is family. Ed Vargas has a staff that would go out and basically talk with the customer, explain to them our process and our processes. There is no money down. When we go out for the estimate, of course, the estimate is free. 
and explain and go in more deeper explanation of an estimate because a mm-hmm. lot of people have a misconception because you say free estimate that doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting what's on that estimate because the insurance company makes the final decision. Mm-hmm. Well, we may give you an estimate. It includes all the prices, the taxes, everything that may be done. Well, that may be not included in what the insurance company is going to write the check for. So sometimes the, it will seem like that estimate is higher. So you want to make sure that that estimate is equal to what the insurance company is going to do. So when you do that free estimate, we try to make sure that it is an even across the board that will equal to what the insurance company. Then when we do the free estimate that we also do the storm damage inspection, and that is also free. So it's, it's more than just a estimate. You're doing an estimate of what it costs to do a building, but you're not looking at the damage in that estimate always. He's an advocate definitely for the homeowner or for that business owner that has a a roof problem or a siding or whatever problem they may have that they need help in. Uh, If he can do the job, he will tell you, yes, I can do the job. If he cannot do the job or if there's some other issues that are involved that the client or the material or what's how it's working out, he will tell you. I mean, he's not going to take the job just because it's a job. Now, I do know that some contractors do that, but his reputation is very important to him. His workmanship, his quality of what he gives to a client, each person is on an individual basis, and he gives them their attention at their time. He doesn't just like, okay, spread himself so thin that he cannot give that person all the attention that's needed for their particular job. And we don't really call our salesmen salesmen, but they're more of a consultant than they are salesmen because we, we thrive and try our best to educate the uh, homeowner or the business owner about that because they have their business or they have their home or they may have other properties that they need work on later. Everybody uh, can give you an opinion, but that doesn't necessarily mean that opinion is going to fit your situation. So we try to advocate for them and, and teach them at the same time of what is what to expect, what not to expect, and how it works and go through the process. We walk them through the process. Most of the salesmen that I know try to make sure that they keep in touch with their client if it's not every week or every two weeks or however long the process takes for them to get it done. So as far as getting that claim number, talking to that adjuster, uh, waiting on their decision, uh, sending the estimate to both the adjuster and to the uh, homeowner so they all are on the same page. We don't want anybody lost in the translation here of trying to keep everything together. Whatever we talk or say to the insurance company, the homeowner is aware of that also. And we try to keep it so that the homeowner is an active partner and not just sitting over to the side. And yes, there's a lot of people um, out there, but I think our uh, our cornerstone, our our position is is definitely educating and helping that consumer. And then we also have a 24 hour emergency. Like uh, some people may have something come that happens, not necessarily from a storm. But something may happen and they need somebody to come out and put some tarp on a a particular place uh, of the home. If somebody runs into their house, because a lot of that happens. Well, if there's damage uh, and part of the roof or part of the side of the house or the back porch or wherever they ran into or what happened, you know, they need someone to come out and do something regardless of what time of day or night it is. So we yes, we do have a 24 seven emergency thing so that you can call. Uh, the 800 number is that they can call that. And yes, that is answered by a live person and not an answer machine because my, my phone never closes. Uh, very rare is my phone off. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about siding for a moment. What is the most common problem that you encounter with people who already have siding on their home? The biggest problem is determining whether it was uh, weather damage or it was just a damage for somebody hitting the side of the building or whatever. If it's weather damage, uh, you, the insurance company, will, you know, of course, the adjuster comes out and, and looks at it. And we try to be there at that time then also to um, look at it and make sure and try. Because a lot of people think, well, because they damage one side, the whole house is going to be covered. Not necessarily so. It yeah. seems to me c- confusing to shop for something like gutters. What, uh, 
what kinds of things do you need to know about gutters? <laughs> I mean, that's... Well, on the website, he has kind of like a little blog because he's on Facebook, Twitter, all of those. And he's on YouTube, so you can get to see the video. So he kind of talks about that. And then he writes a, a little blog and kind of gives you pointers on what to look for and uh, what you're expecting. Because a lot of people go to Home Depot, uh, go to Lowe's, and they say, well, I can get this. This is the price. You know, and but then what quality is that? So you're, it goes back again to quality and making sure that you're going to get something that's going to last you and that's going to do the job also. What should people be looking for in a roofer? I think the, the biggest thing is making sure, one, that they're licensed. They're aware of Ohio city codes, I mean building codes, that they are insured, that they are incorporated or with the state of Ohio, Better Business Bureau. Angelus is wonderful. Uh, a lot of people have turned to that, mm-hmm. but the the Better Business Bureau, I feel, is the most stronger, your Chamber of Commerce, the city or the state, to find out a little more background of the um, company. And we have all that on our website so that we don't hide anything. Everything is there. And the nice thing about, I think, of having all that on there, then the person's will not have a lot of questions about the company. They've looked at your website. They can print off uh, the information, whether we have the license, whether we have the insurance, anything that would need to be covered, it's on there. So it's nothing that we hide. It's He mm-hmm. puts everything on there. Even we, he has a list of references with their name and number. So if a client wants to call and say, hey, I saw this, and they want to see you know how satisfied they're, it's all there. He lays it all out so that there's no reason or any doubt is there. And if there is any doubt, we, we welcome the questions. If anybody can call at any time and ask any concern that they may have. My thanks once again to Diane for being on Crosswalk Magazine today. And I wanted to give you information on GB Contractor in case you would like to get a hold of them for more information on storm damage or any of the other services that they provide. The uh, website is gbcontractor.com. That's gbcontractor.com. And they have a toll-free number, 877-632-0045. That's 877-632-0045. 0045. I'm Ann Ray. Thanks so much for joining me today for Crosswalk Magazine here on The Word 880 WRFD. The views expressed are those of the participants and may not reflect the views of the staff, ownership, and advertisers of The Word 880 WRFD. Join us again next week for Crosswalk Magazine.